So uh, today we're going to be living in image adjustments, okay? Image adjustments. All the stuff we're doing, most of the stuff we're doing today is image adjustments. So first of all, we're going to start with levels. Now, this is an example of levels. Well, it is levels. This is like your black tones. Notice I have a lot of black tones in my photograph, okay? If I want to make it lighter, what I'd want to do is basically just take off, take this white, sorry, or the dark, and I want to move it towards this side. Now notice it's getting darker, okay? If I want to make it lighter, I take the white and I move it this way. And notice how much lighter it got. So this is how you can um, increase and decrease the um, midtones, okay? You can also change uh, the value in the midtones as well. And here's the output value, okay? So if you need to adjust that. Uh, go ahead and cancel. Um, let's see. They do have auto levels, auto contrast, auto color. Basically, just automatically gives you the optimal usage, but um, we're not going to use that today. If you didn't bring photographs, just uh, adjust some photograph you find. Instead of levels, I use more of curves. Okay, curves is I think is more practical, more easier. Now down here is my darks, okay, and up here is my lights, and in the middle is my midtones. So if I want to bring out more of my darks, I take my mouse and I and I bring this up here, and I'll get more light. <laughs> if I go down here, it'll be more dark, and you'll notice that on the side there, okay. So. You can also have different points. So the middle is my midtone, so I can like bring up my midtones, and I can take the lighter areas of my photograph and I can bring those down so it's darker. So let me basically show you or explain what what this histogram is. So this is my darks over here. My darks I made more dark. Okay. My midtones. Midtones are like the colors that you have, like. Uh, um, the mid value colors and then here's my light color my lights or white So I take my whites and I drop that down So they're gonna be darker if I want the lights to be more I can like increase my whites while decreasing my darks and That would give a really big contrasting colors if I do that and then I can change my midtones Okay so you can really get some creative photographs doing this or a lot of contrast by using your uh, contrast. Okay, let's go to image adjustments. Uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna use another photograph. Do you guys know what this is? What's it called? Yes, correct. Adjustments, and I'm going to go to black and white. Now this photograph probably wouldn't look good black and white, right? But what main, main colors does it use? What? You saw the green, right? You saw the green color? <coughs> so what this does is you can choose which colors you want to be like to pop out or to be more emphasized. So if I want those green colors to be more, you go to greens and you can increase the green right here. So notice it's only changing the green color on this. You see that? Uh, there's no, the, the tablecloth was a little bit of like a red tone so I can like decrease the red on that. Notice it contrasts or I can increase it. Uh, yellows, there wasn't too much yellows <laughs> or blues. There's like nothing blue except for this top area. That blue. So this, you can really change the tone of your contrast when you do black and white by changing like which colors you want to like increase and decrease. Okay. I'm going to, go to image adjustments. Next, I'm going to go to hue and saturation. Okay. But I'm going to choose a photograph that's more bright. Like this is a really good photograph for hue saturation. So image adjustments. And... Hue saturation. Now, 
your hue color is how like the different tones of the color. So if you really want to change like the natural colors, just change your hues and it'll give you something different. Your saturation is how bright the color is. So if I increase this, it's going to be really, really like neon bright. Usually it's, if you want the colors to really stand out, you'll just change it a little bit. Now if you want black and white, what should you do with your saturation? Just bring that all the way down and it'll be black and white. Some people like to have like a little bit of a color. It's a really cool effect. So they'll do a little bit of sat saturation with like some br lightness or some darkness. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that. The next tool I'm gonna show you is, well desaturate is like the opposite. It's like black and white, it's the opposite of saturate. So you don't really need to use that as much. Um, replace color, I've taught you that before. Uh, so let's say I, I want these, like these white to be a different color. Okay, well, well first of all I need to select it, right? And my tolerance level, I'm going to increase since it didn't select very much of the white. Now it's selected too much, so I'm going to go back down. And there we go, we got most of it. So notice I'm selecting all the white colors. Okay, I got most of the whites now. Now what I'm going to do is save the selection, just in case I need this selection for later if I want to uh, change it. Okay, So I can go here to Image, Adjustments, Replace Color, and if I don't want it to be white, now I need to first of all select, I'm going to hit the plus sign so I can add to the selection. I'm going to select those white colors and I'm going to make sure that it's all uh, it's white. And then I can change the color of that so I can make it look a little bit more of a tone. You can choose to saturate. Notice how I'm changing the color a little bit. Now they're dark. So, now they're red. So, if you wanted to change like a different color that you didn't want, that's how you do it. Okay? Um, I'm going to show you another effect. What I'm going to do is take my layer, okay? I'm going to make a copy. Usually it's good to always like make a copy of your layer and notice how this layer is locked. Um, usually I just keep the locked layer and like hide it so I can't see it. So just in case I make some changes and I want to go back to the original, I'll go back to that uh, lock layer. Now I have this layer, uh, this photograph here, right? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see. Okay, uh, actually I'm going to take it to this photograph. So let's say I wanted to color only the cow. I want everything black and white, but I want the cow to be a different color. Well, what I need to do is first of all go to Image, Adjustments, and then I can go to um, Saturate. I can bring down my saturation so that it's like, I'm going to add just a little bit of color. So it's basically black and white, right? I hit OK. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so you can see it. Now remember I have my original photograph? Okay. I'm going to actually make a cop another copy. So I have the top copy. I'm going to call this black and white. And then I'm going to name the second one like color cow because that's going to be colored. In the background, I'm going to hide that because that's my backup copy just in case things go wrong. So right now, you only see black and white even though I have a color copy. If I press the I and hide the black and white, notice that it's in color. Okay. Now, what happens if I only want the red and the cow to show? Well, basically, I can just go hit the E key on my keyboard or click on the eraser tool and basically just erase the black and white parts on the cow. Okay, and you can also change your like hardness and your um, diameter, and basically just color in like the cow that I want. Now, if you do a mistake like this, okay, you can go back. Um, 